Yes, my people. Back on some nature. You hear them birds? You know I got a little message and I hope it resonates later, yeah? I ain't been on YouTube for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And to be fair, it's calm. It's good, man. I'm not taking this YouTube thing too serious. I'm not trying to get all the subscribers. I'm not trying to get all the likes. I just want to connect with people, you know what I'm saying? And share how I feel. You know what I mean? Most of the time I'm by myself just calling. And that's one of the best ways to heal and find out who you are, man. Spend time by yourself. Sometimes you got to be selfish out here, bro. And put yourself first. And listen to how you feel, you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, my people, obviously I've been off YouTube for a bit. You know what I mean? For like the last two months. I just kind of been dealing with some personal stuff in life. You know what I'm saying? My goal is not to be on YouTube every day and uploading the best video and trying, you know, no, no, no. I just want to share my thoughts. But I got some thoughts to share right now, man. But like I said, I ain't done this in a while. But yeah, I'm back out in nature. You know, I got that message and I hope it resonates later, yeah? This tree's so big, big and nice. I used to climb these, hey, back in the Caribbean, I would have been up here. I would have been up there cooling. But anyways, my people, listen, listen to this message. I used to hear people saying cutting people off or cutting toxic friends and family member off. I used to hear people saying that's a negative thing itself, you cutting that person off. And I don't agree with that. I, I don't agree with you cutting someone off is a toxic thing. I think cutting someone off is perfectly fine, bro. Do you understand? And I'm going to explain, I'm going to go into a bit more detail. Listen, we got to understand, yeah? Each and every single one of us, including me, we, we, we are the CEO of our own life. You know what I'm trying to say? You have to treat your life like a job, like you're the manager, you're the CEO, yeah? Treat your department. The way you treat your department, that's how you treat yourself. Our bodies, you know what I'm trying to say? Our reality, who we are, this is our department. This is my building. We, we are the CEO of our own life, yeah? So that means we can, we can hire, fire and promote whoever we want in our life. Do you understand? But you gotta understand here, yeah, each and each 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 people that we hire, fire and promote, they're gonna hurt us in 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 a way. You know what I'm trying to say? And even me, I'm gonna hurt people as well if they hire, fire and promote me in their reality. You know what I'm trying to say? I might hurt people. But you gotta understand there's a difference between hurting someone, yeah? Because listen, I'm not trying to big myself up, but I got a good heart. I always got good intentions. Do you understand? If I'm, if I'm giving you my full energy at the time and mean you're like cooling and trying to do something, best believe that you've got my, you got my genuine energy. You got who I am. You know what I'm trying to say? Pure heart. But as I'm growing up, I realize we live in a cold world. You know what I'm trying to say? So you can't be too pure. Or, or you can be, you can have a good heart, but you have to, you have to have, you have to find a balance on how to say no and stand up for your rights. You know what I'm trying to say? Stand up for yourself a little bit because people would take, take your kindness for weakness in this world you know what I mean but if one thing I'm realising in this world yeah one thing I'm realising as I'm growing up and I'm living my life is people are going to hurt you you know what I'm trying to say situations are going to pop up in life and it's going to hurt you life is supposed to hurt you I'm just, I, as I'm growing I'm learning that more you know what I'm trying to say because I came from a I came from a tough background but I grew up around my mother and my, and my two sisters, which is not a bad thing, you know what I'm trying to say? I love my mother and my two sisters. Although we don't see things eye to eye all the time, that's family, innit? I'm not going to go into too much details about things, but I love my family. Like I said, although certain things, certain situations we might have been through, it might not come across like I love them or vice versa. They might, they might have done certain things like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get into too much detail with the family thing. But you, we, we all know the love for the fact. We all know the love you got for your family compared to a friend or something. It is different. Family will betray you. Family, family will betray you. One hundred percent. Family will betray you, and that's gonna that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, bro. But at the end of the day, certain not every family member though. Certain family members, you can forgive and try to you know rebuild with them and just let go or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Only certain family members. But not every family member, I think, deserve a second chance. And that's with, that's, that's friends as well. You know what I'm trying to say? Not every friend deserves a second chance. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Everyone that you hire, fire and promote, they're going to hurt you in some, in some type of way. But there's a difference between people hurting you and someone actually betraying you. You know what I'm trying to say? You might hire A in your life, yeah? Let's say you hire A. 
A's got potential to hurt you. And you know that. You know A's got potential to hurt you. But then A, A might have hurt you during the journey, but that doesn't stop you from promoting A in your reality. You know what I'm trying to say? So when I say promote A, I'm talking about you might have blessed him with some money to help him with his business or his situation or, or your sister or whatever, whoever, whoever you're dealing with. You know what I'm trying to say? You might, you might have um, invited them into your reality now and you're trying to help them come up. You know, you're trying to give them some lessons and some wisdom that you've learned to help. You know what I'm trying to say? That's promoting someone in your life. You know what I'm trying to say? And that could be, like I said, that, could, that same person that you're promoting, that person could have hurt you during your journey. You both might have had a little bit of, you know, back and forth, a little bit of problems, but it wasn't to the point where they really betrayed you, to the point where you had to fire them. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? But then the people that you fire, that's the people that you cut off, you cut off out your life, you understand? But then people say cutting off is a bad thing. No, it's not. Because certain people that you hire into your life, they come into your life with bad intentions. Why would you want to keep someone in your circle or in your reality that you know got potential to, to, fuck, up, to fuck up your thing? You know what I'm trying to say? Why would, you, why would you hire someone in your department that's going to come in your department and fuck up the department? No. No. And if they do and you find out, you have to get rid of them, fire them. That's not fire, bro. Cutting off people is not toxic. I'm going to be real. Cutting off people is not toxic. And listen, certain people might have cut me off in their life and I respect you for that because I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect because I've hurt people in my own way. But one thing I want to let you know is I've always had good intentions in my heart. You know what I'm trying to say? No matter what, no, listen, I'm not even going to, I'm not even trying to brag or big myself up. I'm just keeping it 100. Once you got a good heart out here, the universe will look after you. You'll go through, you'll go through a lot of things. Once you, when you have a good heart here, you will go through a lot of things in this world. A lot of people and situations are going to test you. But one thing I realized, the most high in the universe, they will look after you, man because you got a pure heart. When you're trying to always do right, you will get back. You will get back, man. At the time, it might not feel like that. You might feel like, why? Why do I keep going? Why? Why? It's a test. It's a test to see, are you going to lose faith and start doing things in your own way, which is not good, because when we do things in our own way, we fool. We fuck up. You know what I'm trying to say? Or, are you going to trust the most high in the universe? Are you going to trust your higher self? Are you going to trust the process to understand this is a test? And all i got to do is just have a bit of patience, discipline and just learn from what I need to learn from the situation. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, my people, there's nothing wrong with cutting people off. Yeah, it's, it's perspective. It's how, you, it's how you look at things. You know what I'm trying to say? We are the CEO of our own life. Whoever you hire, you have the right to fire or promote them. Fire. When you fire someone, that's cutting them off. Out of my department. Out of my reality. Because you're here to fuck up my reality. You're here. You, you betrayed me. You betrayed me. You know what I mean? You betrayed me to the point where you're like, raw, you, you, crossed the, you crossed the line, you know what I'm trying to say? But no one's perfect, we're all out here learning. But I'm just trying to let people know is, don't feel no way to fire someone. That could be a family member or a friend. And don't feel a way to promote someone, even if you've been through stuff in life. That could be a family member or a friend. You know what I'm trying to say? The person that you obviously promote, you lot obviously got good connection, you know? You lot obviously got a real, you lot got a real relationship despite the problems and the little situation that you lot might have during the journey you still can find you still can find a bit of guts and a bit of heart to, to link up again and say yo you know what let's put that behind us man that's promotion for me you know what I'm trying to say and that could be promotion in their reality as well but you have to think about your reality but the people that you have to fire, no problem no problem, get rid of them, fire Vince McMahon you have to Vince McMahon certain people bruv I'm not even going to do the fucking... <laughs> if you watch wrestling, if you used to watch wrestling, you know what I mean. You have to Vince McMahon some people in your life. What did Vince McMahon used to say? You're fired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my people, remember, you're the CEO of your life. And just try to always better your reality. And you got to understand the only way to better your reality, you have to, you have to admit that you got some flaws about yourself as well. You know what I mean? That's the only way to better yourself and better your reality. And I'm still, I'm still working on myself. Like I realize, as I'm growing, I realize this journey is a marathon. This ain't no, like this illusion that this life has gave us to make us believe that once you have money and all this stuff here, you're your complete self. That's a lie. To find out who you are and to become your complete self, it's a marathon. It's a journey. And all you gotta do is just enjoy each, you know, each step. You gotta enjoy each progress. 
and look yourself in the mirror. Each chapter that you get past, look yourself in the mirror, you know, tap yourself in the back and say, yo, I made it to another chapter, I'm growing. You know, you have to admit that you're growing, man. And don't let no one tell you that you're not growing and don't let people remind you of who you used to be. That was you in the past. We all, we all been lost out here. We all, we all have, we all, we all done some stuff in the past that we shouldn't have done or, because we all been lost in this illusion. We wasn't, we wasn't brought up properly. Yeah, our parents done as much as they could and we thank them for that. But we wasn't brought up properly, the education system and just, you know, life itself, the media. So don't beat yourself up if you've made mistakes before in the past. Thank yourself for who you are today. You know what I'm trying to say? Live in the moment. Forget the past. Live in the present moment as much as possible. Think about the future a little bit, but don't think too much about the future because you get anxious and all of that. Think about the future a little bit. That's, that's you manifesting and, and, and putting yourself in a beautiful kind of picture. Like, yeah, this is what, I, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. But the, the most important thing is you have to live in the present moment as much as possible. Enjoy the present moment. What you do today, what we do today, we're, we're making it, we're making a tomorrow, you know what I'm trying to say? And small steps, you don't have to be no big steps everywhere, relax, enjoy the, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm actually learning, enjoy the process, man. Relax, enjoy your growth and thank the most out every day for life. And don't let this whole lockdown shit bother you, man. Come out in nature and go for a walk and enjoy yourself and understand that there's nothing wrong with loving yourself and accepting who you are. You know what I mean? Even if no one accepts you, you have to accept who you are because when people walk out on you, who, who's le who are you left with? You're left with yourself, your higher self. You know what I'm trying to say? We're always by ourselves. You know what I mean? But don't let this world turn you cold. Don't let certain, certain situations or certain friends and family members turn you cold. Just learn and grow from it. And hire, fire and promote whoever you want in your life. You know what I'm trying to say? My people, look after yourself, yeah? Peace.